What is up guys, the Next Productions here, back with another video. It's been quite a while, but I just haven't gotten any new devices lately. Uh, this device right here, I actually bought from an app called OfferUp. You should download that, because you can uh, buy and sell things on that site. And this is, uh, I just got this device today uh, for only $10. And I've got to say, it's not that bad. And yes, it is used. It's been used. It's, it's not that bad, like I just said. Um, but before I start off, I would like to thank all of my subscribers. As of today, I have like 86 subscribers. So, yeah, to me, that's like, holy crap. I was not expecting to get, you know, that many. So, thank you guys so much. Your support means a lot to me. And, yeah, I'm just so amazed on how many subscribers I've gained since I started the channel. But anyway, um, back to the video, um... This, my friends, is the Motorola Droid Razor. It's one of the thinnest LTE uh, devices for Motorola, and this is going to be a quick look. Uh, I'm not going to do a review on it just because it's not a brand new device. There's not really any need to do a review on it. It's just a quick look. And yes, I will go over, you know, the speed test and whatnot and cameras and whatnot. So yeah, this device measures only 7.1 millimeters thick. This is how it looks. That's pretty thin. 7.1 millimeters. It's one of the thinnest devices that I have. Yet 4G LTE with a Kevlar back. Uh, as you can see right here, it had a little logo 4G LTE for Verizon or something like that. As you can see, it's very worn out. Like I said, Kevlar backing. Sorry, you're not, you know, it's light when uh, oh, I can't talk. Um, See shadow right now right here. Anyway, there's a Motorola logo, which is, it has the same feeling, like you can't really feel it. Um, as you can see, the camera stuff right here has a little hump, which is a nice touch. And as you can see up here, it is used, as you can see. Uh, it has a, I think it's a 8 megapixel camera with, if you can look closely here, 1080p HD video and LED flash and the speakers right up here. And the little microphone is down there. On the front of the device, we have a front-facing camera right here. I think it's a 1.3 megapixel one. Uh, notification light somewhere over here. Um, can't make it out. It's like somewhere right in here. Motorola, really nice Motorola uh, branding right there and the little ear speaker. Uh, this device has a 4.3 inch display compared to a 4.5 inch on my Hydro. So it's not that big of a difference at all. Um, and sorry, I'm going to... Uh, show you guys something I forgot to mention this in the beginning but I just got two into the into the device um, I got a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card for my camera that I'm waiting to use so yeah need this for my YouTube videos and whatnot all right so moving on uh, down here we got the uh, Verizon logo which to me it looks pretty nice and the four capacitive buttons menu home back and search in the little microphone right there and for some reason this phone that I got right here these the back and search button does not light up the menu and home button does let me go ahead and show you real quick I don't know if you could see that huh. could you possibly did see that okay no anyway <laughs> on the left side we have nothing but down here if you remove this flap which takes me a couple tries I can't really it's kind of hard, in my opinion. I can't really get it off. Um, that could have been a notification. Let me go ahead and check. Um, yeah, it looks like it was a notification. Alright, yeah. Um, what, uh, one of my friends wants me to buy a phone. I guess I can go ahead and show you guys. I don't know if you can you know, see. He said Naz. Uh, my friend here said Naz just cracked a little and forty dollars. Uh, it's actually the Coolpad Arise, and this is a little sneak peek of the device. I didn't really mean to actually get into the, uh, like actually show you. Um, let me go ahead and flick that out of the way. I guess. All right. Sorry, a little spoiler alert right there. But let me go ahead and try and get this off right here. It's actually quite hard in my opinion. I don't, okay, it's like magnetic. Okay, there you go. If you remove, if you 
uh, uncover and whatnot, you gain access to its SD card slot and the uh, SIM card slot. And now, I do not know which one is which. I think the SIM card is on the left, right here, and the SD card is on that one, on the right side. Oh God, fail. All right, on the bottom we have nothing. On the right side, right here we have the Vine Rocker up and down and the silver accented power button, which on this device is kind of flush and you you know you can't really press it down that much. So yeah, it's it's like I said, it's not bad for ten dollars at all. The lady had it on sale. Well, the lady had um, was asking thirty for it at first. Then eventually she lowered it to 30, and then she lowered it to 15. Wait, 30, then 15. Then now I talked her down to 10, and here I have it. And then now at the top we have the headphone jack, the micro USB cable, and the HDMI cable, or port. Sorry if I said cable, I said, I mean, uh, micro USB port and the HDMI port. And yes, this phone does support HDMI. Now like I said tons of times, this phone is used, and as you can see by the wear and tear of it. It's not the best, but hey, I just keep saying. It's like, what do you expect for $10? It's been used a lot. It's just so amazing how thin this device is. It feels awesome in the hand, by the way. It's like, it's like, feels weird to me, but I like it a lot. And as you can see here, it has little, uh, what's it called? Diamond cut edges or something like that. Uh, but as you can see, it's like rounded, which gives it a nice look. Uh, this device is powered by Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, which is currently running on this device. Here we go. Here's a lock screen. 8:44 p.m. Je uh, Saturday, January 23rd. You can tap on that. You can get to your phone. Okay. Your phone over here. Your camera and your text. Let's go ahead and unlock it. And now, um, if I be quiet, you can hear the um. Oh yeah, that was a screen off effect. Sorry, I'm all over the place with this video. But if um if I be quiet, I'll let you hear the sound that it makes when I unlock it. It, was, it. it vibrates, which I don't really like, in my opinion. And this is not a wallpaper that comes with this device. Um, this is from Zedge, of course, right here. And this is a stock launcher. And uh, the lady factory apparently factory resetted it, so it's all good to go. Uh, as you can see, I have not added any contacts, whatnot. Here's the app drawer. Um, it, it, it's pretty laggy, I mean, it's not the best experience, uh, just scrolling here is pretty good, it's not that laggy, but honestly, it's, uh, some basic tasks, such as going into applications or whatnot, is pretty laggy, and yes, this is, uh, uh, j uh 4.2.1 Jellybean, and I'll go ahead and confirm that right now, about phone, and as you can see right there, 4.2.1, feel like I'm about to drop it the way that I'm holding it. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep tapping that. As you can see, Jelly Bean. Now, I have no idea if this thing will get updated to KitKat, because, well, I just got this device today. I literally haven't done much research on it. I, I'm just going off of the facts that I know that I've watched previous videos from. And, yeah, web top version. I'm not too sure what that is. Um, yeah back developer you have developer options and whatnot um yeah uh, I think it has like 16 oh, no not display I think it has like 16 gigabytes of storage I'm not too sure I'll let you see right here it says total space is 16 gigs which is probably my highest gigabyte phone if that's even correct how do you if that's even how you say it application storage 740 megabytes I'll let you read that Available is 2.20, and now we're here. Apps and whatnot is 216 pictures, videos, uh, 2.24 megabytes. Audio is 206 kilobytes. Downloads at 119, uh, no 2319 kilobytes. Available 16.19, 6.19. So yeah, there's that. This thing does not have an SD card in it, by the way. And yeah, and yeah, there's the um, buttons right here. As I said. Only these two buttons light up, these don't, and I'm pretty sure that's like a defect, because it's been, it's really old. Press and hold uh, home button and multitasking pops up. Um, yeah, I've updated Google already and whatnot a couple hours ago. Now, uh, the late, when the lady gave it to me, it was like about low, it was like at, I don't know, 5-10% of battery. As you can see the battery life, I had it on, air, I just, uh, uh, 
I have I have it on airplane mode, um, because well, to be honest, the battery life is decent. But keep in mind, I just got this phone today and really haven't played around with it all that much. I just updated a couple apps. It has Facebook pre-installed, which is a nice touch. Now you also have Amazon Kindle, you have Chrome, and you have your basic uh, stock browser, Gmail, um, Verizon Mobile Hotspot right there, Motocast, uh, my account, my Verizon Mobile, Netflix, NFL Mobile. You can see some apps that I downloaded. You have Quick Office, which I tried to uninstall, but I guess you can't. Slacker Radio, Smart Actions, uh, Verizon Tones, Video Calling, uh, Voicemail, Easy Navigator, so quite a bit of Verizon apps. And uh, for example, let me go ahead and try to uninstall my Verizon Mobile. Uh, more options. And as you can see here, you cannot uninstall it, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Motocast, which I'm not too sure of. I'm experiencing this for the first time just like you. Uh, yeah, set, set up, I guess. Create a motocast ID to get started. Sign, no. Uh, I guess I'm not actually going to demonstrate it, I guess. Create one. I have a motocast ID. No, I don't have a motocast ID. I don't really want one. Uh, I'm going to clear that out real quick. But so far, as you can see, just basic tasks. Just like this, like swiping, whatnot, going back to home screen, seems pretty smooth. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see something else. Uh, you have your Netflix, like I just said. And yeah, all the Verizon apps are over here. I did uh, successfully uninstall some, just not all of them. Uh, smart Action. Um, yeah, there's this. <coughs> Get started. As you can see here, you have your actions. Now, like I said, I'm not too sure what this does, but I'm pretty sure it, it's supposed to help with battery life. Battery life, I'll get to, you know, in a minute after I run some tests and whatnot. Give you a basic idea of how the phone, how fast the phone is. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. This is a 4G LTE device, but it's not activated. It never will be activated. All right, so let's go ahead and run a quad. Oh, that kind of scared me. It's like something went off in the background. Let's do a quadrant real fast. If you can hear that, that's my mother in the kitchen. Run full benchmark. And let's go ahead and wait. While that's while that's running, let me go ahead and respond to my message over here. I'm literally um, begging my friend about getting it for you guys. You know that should be a good, a good first look as well. I think it's actually the cool pad Arise, A, yeah, A R I S E Arise. All right, so we're still going here. So yeah, I did a test just like this before earlier. Yep. Yeah, I just typically um, said in my message that, uh, bruh, please let me get it for a lower price. That's typically what I just said in my message. So, yeah. Chances are of him saying, you know, like, no is a pretty good chance since he said it is activated. And yes, it is one of those unlimited phones, and I've been dying to get my hands on an, un on an unlimited phone. Alright, test is finished. Let's go ahead and see which, what score we got. This device doesn't do too bad. As you can see, it's like pretty big. My device scores right here, right there. Um, can we get the camera to focus? I actually can't see that on my camera screen, so I'll go ahead and look off camera right here. 3,005. As you can see right there, 3,005. It's not too bad for this device. It is quite old, in my in yeah, it is quite old. Now, uh, like I said, this phone has a 1080p HD video camera right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera. Here is the camera interface on the Motorola Droid Razor. Now, I've did a well. I've taken a, a front-facing camera sample uh, of me and my friend, as you can see up here in the top left. Let me go ahead and click on that. Um, I prefer to use gallery and always, just because Google Photos, in my opinion, doesn't always work that good. 
So you can see this was earlier. Uh, that was the guy that, you know, my best friend typically, he's, he was over here today and he came with me to get this phone to help me, you know, get it and whatnot. Anyway, it's not that bad. Well, I don't know what I'm saying about that. Anyway, left side over here we have the zoom. You can just drag up and down. Zooms. And over here, before I get to the settings, which is over here, we have your front camera flip. You know, you can switch between cameras, cameras, your photo button, and your video and video and camera mode. And here we go. Here's the video. I'm not recording. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's a 1080p. Let me go ahead and just look at my hydro over here. Yeah, wow, it looks pretty damn good, in my opinion. Now, I was just taking a look at that. Let me go ahead and. Let me go ahead and get my SD card over here. Let me go ahead and take... Oh, whoa. Covered up the camera. Where's the camera? Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Let's go ahead and take a picture real quick. Wow, that is clear. Wow. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Let me go ahead and get my SD card out of the way. I don't know if you... I don't know if this camera will do it justice, but wow, that is clear in my opinion. For a phone that I got, I got for $10... Which was like about what if I'm correct? I think it was like 199 when it came, when it first came out. 299. I'm not not too sure. Even though I've watched quite a bit of videos on it, but wow, that is clear. Oh wow, this is a first look. Um, you know, first look of the rear camera for both of us, you and me. Wow, it's outstanding in my opinion. And let's go ahead and switch between the front-facing camera. I can tap it. Okay, there we go. 1.3 megapixels. Not bad. Don't mind the closet. It's still pretty messy. It's my hover. Oh, hyperdisk. Sorry, I forgot what it was. I was just uh, looking up at it. If you know, if you didn't know what I was doing. Anyway, yeah. There's that. Heck, heck, maybe I can talk my friend into trading me phones. Of course, not for this phone. I love this phone so far. I actually just might actually get it fixed, like maybe get a better screen or something like that. Even though this screen is not cracked at all and whatnot, just trying to maybe upgrade, like make this phone better. I don't know. Okay, here we have. Trying to get my camera to focus. We have your flash right here, auto on and off. I like to have it off. Your uh, what's this exposure? Then you have your modes. You have your single shot, panorama, multi shot, and timer. Here you have your Scenes, auto, portrait, landscape, sport, night, night portrait, sunset, and macro. Okay, sorry. Um, I was just waiting on my mother to pass by. Okay, I was pretty rude of her. I was literally gonna, you know, go and tell her to go. Alright, so where were we? And this one is your effects. So, first time seeing this, um, me and you. Well, yeah. You have your normal black and white, negative, sepia, solarized, posturized, whiteboard, blackboard, aqua, red tint, green tint, blue tint. Wow, quite a bit of effects. Nice job, Motorola. And here we have your camera settings. Oh god, my back already. Um, wide screen, six megapixel images to match the screen. Volume key function. Uh, geotag, storage locations. Uh, internal storage, six point nineteen gigabytes available. But you can change that if you have an SD card slot. And your shuttle shutter tone. No, I do not want that. I don't like the. I don't like the sound when it. I mean, I like the sound, but I just don't like. I don't like it making noise when it takes a picture, basically. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the camera on the Motorola, um, Motorola Droid Razor. Um, the first, oh god, sorry, I'm kicking him, kicking. Okay, he went down, to, he, he says 35. Okay, sorry about this, but I'm going to reply. I'm going to reply to this real fast, sorry if it's taking your time. But I'm, I'm going to try as hard as I can about this phone. I'm beginning, what the heck?
So far I have, I'm begging you, bro. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear about that. And sorry, this actually might be my longest video. It's at 2013 and whatnot. Alright, so I just said I'm begging you, bro. Lower. He said 35, and it's actually worse 40 in my opinion, but it's it's cracked and whatnot. The uh, the phone he has, whatnot. Alright, so, um, two more things before we end this video. Uh, the battery life. Now, as you can see, the battery life, let me go ahead and check. I think it's at, judging by my, by just looking at it, it looks like it's at 40% or something like that. And, am I right? 40% and I was just a complete guess it was on one hour 35 minutes 33 seconds and it was comp like um, It was pretty dead like it was pretty low when I first got it from her so barely any charge when I first got it But you know and I've tried to charge it I've plugged it in let it charge for a good maybe hour or two and I've actually have not gotten up gotten it up to full charge yet and I'm having wonders about that like this phone might actually have charging issues because I I know um, you have to wait longer, but honestly, it was at, I charged it up all the way to 50%, half of 100, right? And I don't, I honestly, in my opinion, I don't think it'll go up to 100%, so I don't know about that. And I actually told the lady that I bought it from, from sorry, uh, that, you know, like, does it have a charging issue? And she said, no, it charges fine. And I, I said to her that I'm having a little issues with it charging and whatnot, but I think it, mine only charges up, well, this one only charges up to 50%, but I think I should be able to diagnose that. I should be able to fix it. I'm not quite sure, but I should be able to fix it. Um, but anyway, in my book, this phone gets, um, well, since it's used, it gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Actually, 8.5 out of 10. The one thing that I really like about it is that it's just super thin at 7.1 millimeters. So... Yeah, has a 1080p HD video camera, which is a, a big bonus. This phone is quite wide. Oh god, I'm trying to adjust my my camera up. As you can see, it's quite wide. It's not bad, not bad at all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say on say about it. Of course, he texts me. So far, this phone is pretty good on keeping up with notifications. Go ahead and see here. Um. Oh yeah, I was talking about the first time that I saw this phone, um, it was at a um, uh, swamp meet. And I think the guy actually wanted $70 for it, I think. But it was, of course, like brand new, like no scratches and whatnot, it, you know. I'm going to say, hold on, I'm recording a YouTube video. Hold on, I'm recording a YouTube video. Um, but yeah. Like I said, in my book, it gets an 8.5 out of 10. So, as you can see, apparently right now it's running super smooth. It's probably the smoothest it's ever ran. In real, in person, it looks like it's a lot, like, it looks a lot smoother than it does on camera. But, you know, it has five home screens, apparently. One, two, three, four, five. And... I don't know how you can, like, you know, make all the screens up here. Like, you don't double tap it. I don't know. Hold it. Like I said, it's just recent apps. Um, I haven't, you know. Like I said, this is uh, Android Jelly Bean. 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. On this device. And yeah. That's going to do for me in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is my, you know, it's been a long time since I did my last video. You know, I'm dying to check out some of these new phones, such as the LG Optimus F3. Which, if you haven't seen already, go check out CV Tech's um, review. Well, first look on the LG Zone 3 and the front camera sample of the LG Zone 3. So, yeah. And I'm hoping to get that device or the Moto E for Virgin. The Optimus uh, Zone 3 is a huge upgrade to the original Optimus Zone and the Zone 2. Because the Zone 3 has 4G LTE, which is impressive, and it's only $40, and it has a flash, where, whereas the original and second gen Optimus Zone does not have a flash, and it has a 4.5, um, 
I'm actually not too sure, but I'm going to guess it has a 4.3 inch, 4.5 inch display and Android Lollipop. So anyway guys, and it has a front facing camera. Wait, does it? I'm pretty sure about that. Anyway guys, that's going to do for me in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look of the Motorola Dried Razor from Verizon Wireless. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.